This is a lesson on using spinners to compare likelihoods. So it's a pretty basic lesson, but the basis of it is um, a spinner, so a circle with uh, spaces to land for the arrow. Um, the larger the area on that spinner, the more likely the pointer is to land on that area. So you're going to be comparing likelihoods using the vocabulary that we learned in the last lesson. So um, those were likely, unlikely, possible, impossible, and certain. Okay, and remembering that certain means that it's definitely going to happen. Impossible meaning that it's definitely not going to happen. Possible just meaning that it could happen. Um, unlikely meaning that it could happen, but it's not uh, a high chance of it happening. And likely meaning that it could happen and that it probably will happen. Um, so here's an example. So we've got a spinner here, and each space is the same size, and they're numbered from 1 to 7. So it says this spinner has seven equal sectors. So each uh, space on a um, spinner is called a sector. Okay? So there are seven possible outcomes uh, when the pointer lands on here. So just imagine a pointer is here. Um, and you spin it and it'll land. Um, so one outcome is that it it's possible to land on three. So it could land on three. Three is right here. It's possible. Other possible outcomes are one, two, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Now one outcome that is impossible is landing on eight because it doesn't exist. And so are any other number that doesn't exist, like nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and so on. Okay, so those are impossible because they're not on there. Now look at this spinner. This spinner has four equal sections again, but each one of them has the same number. They all have the number three. So the outcome here, and there's only one outcome, and, and it's certain that you will land on, and you need to write a number three here, you will land on three. That's the only option. You can't land anywhere else. Okay? There's no other possible outcome. Um, all right. So we're going to do practice now. I know it was quick. Uh, this is a little more complex here. But we've got a spinner here. And they are all different colors, but you'll notice that um, some have the same letter. So there's A, B, C, B, B, A, C, and D. Okay, and so what you're going to have to do is answer these questions. You're going to say how many equal sectors the spinner has. So how many each of these, how many of those, um, how many sectors are labeled A, B, C, and D. And then you're going to have to find out which sectors are equally likely, if any, which sector or sectors is less likely, and which sector is more likely. Okay. So you need to pause the video now, answer the questions, and then play the video again, and we'll go through the answers. Okay, so now that you have <clears throat> completed the questions, I've gone ahead and completed them as well. And so um, here are your answers that you should have gotten. So how many sectors are there? Well, there are eight. Did you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the spinner has eight equal sectors. Um, next one, how many sectors are labeled A? There's two labeled A, one, two. Uh, B, there's one, two, three labeled B. C, there's one, two. And D, there's one here in the brown. Okay, so you should have had two, three, two, and one. And then that helps you answer these questions. So which sectors are equally likely? A and C are equally likely. Which sector is less likely? D is less likely because it has one. These ones have two each. And uh, which sector is more likely? The one with three, and that is B. B is more likely. Okay, so that's the basics of what you're going to be doing. Um, your assignment is on page 278 to 279, and it's numbers one to five.